Hey guys, Super Nintendo here, and this is the Samsung Odyssey Mixed Reality Headset. I bought this for $3.99 a week ago after it was marked down from $4.99. I've been looking to buy a VR headset for a while, and I've tried multiple headsets before arriving on this one. So is the Samsung Odyssey good enough to be your primary virtual reality headset? Let's take a look. So for $3.99, you get a headset, two controllers, batteries, and a microfiber cloth. The headset is equipped with attached AKG headphones, two AMOLED screens which output 1440 by 1600 in each eye, making it the highest resolution on the market. And that is until the Aces Mixed Reality and the Vive Pro are released. The padding is a leatherette which is much better than the cloth because it doesn't absorb sweat that much, you just wipe it off and you're good to go. You can adjust the headset by a ratchet on the back. And your forehead supports the headset, which makes the display fit comfortably on your face. And you can even wear glasses with the headset on. It doesn't flip up like other mixed reality sets, but there is some give on the Odyssey. I didn't really test it too much because I'm not really comfortable bending it back and forth too much. So the headset has undetachable headphones, which I thought was going to be a pain in the butt, but they're actually very comfortable. You just move them up and down depending on how well you go and then they tilt just a little bit to just make your ears fit a little bit better. One of the cool things is is that when you put the headset on, Windows automatically knows to put the volume into the headphones. And also one of the cool things is is that it has volume rockers on the bottom of the headset so you can control the volume inside the headset instead of flipping it up and then changing the volume on the PC itself. It also has microphones built in on the bottom which you can use to call Cortana use chat, or even do speech to text, and it actually recognizes your voice pretty well. There's no training necessary for that. So controllers are included with the headset. Now, not all mixed reality sets include them, so it's pretty nice that they did this. These are proprietary to Samsung, but I'm sure that you can use them with any mixed reality headset. One thing to note though is that they connect to your PC via Bluetooth. So if your PC doesn't have Bluetooth, you're gonna need an adapter. I picked one up off of Amazon for $13 and it works pretty well. So one of the unique things about these controllers is that they have these halos around them. And what that does is it has these lights embedded into the controller, which allows the headset to track them. There's no external tracking. In the Windows Mixed Reality world, all the tracking is done through the headset. So these lights are definitely required so that the headset can track the controllers. And it does a pretty good job with it. So the controllers are the same except one fits into your right hand and the other one fits in the left. The buttons that are included are a joystick which clicks down, a circular pad which also clicks down, a trigger button which doesn't have a digital press but it works okay. And then this side button, which I haven't really seen a use for it yet. It also has a hamburger menu button, and it also has a Windows key. And the Windows key is used for launching the Windows menu when you're in the Cliff House. Overall, the controllers, they feel pretty comfortable in my hands. They're not the most comfortable VR controllers. That's definitely the touch controllers for the Rift. But after a while, you forget that you're actually holding them. So I definitely like the way that they feel. They got some nice heft into them after you put the batteries. So the controllers also have haptic feedback, which is nice. Not too many games actually use that right now, but it's a good forward thinking by Microsoft to have that in there. So setting up the Samsung Odyssey is really easy and all mixed reality sets are easy to set up. There's only two plugs, an HDMI and a USB 3.0. Once you plug these in, Windows recognizes the headset right away and launches the Mixed Reality Setup app. From here, it'll walk you through the process, which includes pairing the controllers to your PC and also choosing a play area. You can also choose to say seated and you can move around without setting up a play area, but I really wouldn't recommend it. I hit myself on the door here and it definitely didn't feel good when you're in Mixed Reality and a sudden jarring motion comes through. So definitely don't recommend that. So once the setup is complete, you can now use the headset. The Samsung Odyssey has a sensor on it that knows when you put it on your face and then it prompts Windows to launch the Mixed Reality Set and then you're launched into the Cliff House. One of the things that really bugged me about this is that the first time use it didn't tell you that it needed to calibrate. It took a while of being too tall or too short in games before I realized that I needed to set the floor height. I really wish that they would have set that up before you started. But what I did was is that I set the controller on the ground and then adjusted the floor to meet 
the actual controller and it worked like a charm after that. So the cliff house is where you can launch other programs. Putting windows on the wall is a pretty neat feature and you can browse the internet, watch movies, you can play games and you can even view your desktop and interact with it. While you can walk around somewhat you will need to teleport around areas with the house and you can use that with the controller. And from the desktop in the Windows Mixed Reality, that's where you can launch Steam VR. But in order to have Steam VR launch, you need to install the Windows Mixed Reality for Steam VR. And that's one of the things that bugs me about the Mixed Reality app is that you can't set specific apps to launch. They can only be compatible with the Windows platform. So now you have to walk into your house, go to the desktop, and then launch Steam VR. So what I do instead is if I want to play Steam VR before I put the headset on, I launch Steam VR and then I'm transported directly into it. So it makes it a ton easier. Also, I feel that my system runs a lot faster because I'm not loading one program and then putting another program inside that program. So it definitely feels a lot faster. So Steam VR compatibility is one of the reasons why I got the Samsung Odyssey and it works pretty good. While not every game is compatible with Mixed Reality, the list seems to be growing every day. I look at the Mixed Reality subreddit and they definitely have a huge list of games that they've already tested for compatibility and it's pretty big. So I was playing the Steam Lab and I didn't run into any issues, but my PC definitely had some trouble running sometimes, especially when loading. I have a GTX 970, which is a fairly older graphics card, but it definitely worked like a charm once the game actually loaded. So tracking. Tracking is the biggest concern about inside out tracking and Definitely versus the Vive or the Rift, it kind of struggles, but I didn't notice anything too severe. Keeping the controllers inside the field of vision, I can keep them right down by my chest and it tracks it pretty well. Uh, if I were to go a little too outside here, it still tracks it, but there's not too many games where you have to go outside of your field of vision for too long. Playing games like the Longbow where you required to move outside of your field of vision didn't result in any issues. Basically, it guesses where your tracking is going to be. So if it's real quick, it definitely doesn't lose track. I did a side-by-side -side comparison and I brought them up really quick and it tracked it as well. So I think that they've definitely done a really good job in making sure that even if the tracking isn't exactly spot on, it isn't a hindrance when you're playing games. So overall, the Samsung Odyssey is a really great buy if you're looking to get started with virtual reality. I have a really small space, so I don't have room for permanent sensors. So this is a really good headset for me. If you already have a headset like the Rift or the Vive, you might want to just give it a try, but you won't see the point in an upgrade. So I think it's really great that the VR hardware scene is growing. There are a lot of sets out there and you can find one that suits your needs the best. There isn't a clear true winner in the VR space right now and I think we're about two or three years before we finally have a headset that fixes all the issues with VR at the moment. With VR in its infancy, Windows is doing a great job by making these headsets affordable and making it less intimidating to set up. If anyone is going to make a truly wireless solution, it'll probably be a Windows Mixed Reality headset. Do you own a Samsung Odyssey? Do you like it? Were you considering purchasing one? Did this persuade you in one way or the other? I'd love to hear your comments down below. And if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more content. I'm Super Nintendo, and I'll see you next time.